Here's what you missed while you were away. The mail was delivered, so you need to check the mailbox. The clothes finished washing and needs attention. Also, Alora's bedroom light became unavailable. Lastly, the PlaySpot battery is at 0% and needs replacing. End of message. What you just saw was my smart home voicemail automation. When events such as automations or triggers fire that require my attention, but it's not urgent, the message is sent to voicemail where it can be played under specific conditions like for instance entering my room now this is a versatile automation that can be built in both node red as well as the native home assistant and all of it can be done without gpt but it is cooler when you do add gpt in it now this is such a simple automation and it's super underrated i admit that it's pretty cool to have your smart home speak to you and I think this presents an interesting opportunity where we can refine the experience. Not every event requires our immediate attention. And I think this automation provides an experience that is extremely pleasant and effective. Wait, hold on. If you follow my channel, you know that I use Node Red as the primary way of creating automations, but this time, I still created the automations using Node Red. What you think this is? But real talk, right? I, I wanted to make this automation more accessible to everyone, but I needed some help. This is where my channel members came through for your boy. I currently have two groups within my channel members, the hobbyists and the influencers. The influencers get first dibs on opportunities that would impact my channel. And when I reach out to them about this problem, Anderson Emes, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right, Emes or I'm gonna say Emes. Anderson took the challenge and converted my Node Red automation into this dope blueprint, making it really easy to download. So kudos, bro. Like, I really appreciate your help. To take advantage of this, if you guys check the link in the description, you're gonna find a link to Chaperone. There you can find copies of the Node Red version that I created, as well as the link to Anderson's blueprint. Now, once you're there in Chaperone, you're gonna notice two versions of this automation. One version uses GPT, which is only available using my Node Red version, and the other Node Red version and the blueprint uses a simple logic to read the messages. Both work exceptionally well, so don't feel torn. Using GPT is still pretty cool though. Now, I know there are some of you that like doing things the hard way and learning the details. Let's do a high level walkthrough. The secret to this voicemail is that it's just a clever automated to-do list. When the mailbox is open, this Yuli sensor. Check the link in the description to watch my review about this sensor and the cool automation I made using it. This Yolink sensor starts an automation and also triggers this voicemail automation. The voicemail automation first grabs all the existing to-dos and checks each to see if they match the message sent from the triggering automation. We are simply matching against the main section here. Now, if no match exists, we create a new to-do item. Now, if someone is in the bedroom at the time of this voicemail, we grab all the to-dos, and for every to-do, we delete it. Simultaneously, all the to-dos are sent to GPT to be summarized, and the results are then announced on the speaker in the bedroom. Okay, hold on, check this code out really quick. If you enjoy this video, click the like button. If you're not subscribed, throw an error. Here when we inspect the catch, it says that you click subscribe. Don't look at me, man. I don't make the rules. I'm just reading what the code says. Now you don't have to use GPT for the summarization portion. You can create your own logic that loops through each item and simply reads it off. But wait, what if there was no one in the bedroom at the time of recording this event? Well, this automation has a secondary trigger. In our bedroom, we have a millimeter wave sensor that detects presence of a person entering the room. Now you can use a motion sensor, ES presence sensor, or your dog if you can automate them. But the point is that when presence is detected, we grab all the to-dos, and if at least one to-do exists, we follow the same logic that we see here. Now you could change this automation around so that way you can keep the items in the to-do list and not delete it, but 
that comes with its own caveats. So play around with this and see what works best for you. And as a bonus, you don't have to actually trigger an automation to put things into this list. You can simply update the list manually. And whenever you walk into the room or trigger the automation, then it will replay just like any of the other times you've used the automation. You have three messages. One, take out trash. Two, get mail. Three, Call mom. In the intro, I showed several different events that the voicemail recorded, one of which was a low battery warning. Lastly, the PlaySpot battery is at 0% and needs replacing. Now, this is a special automation that uses GPT to determine which devices need attention, and I'll show you how to do that here in this video. Good night. The devices with low batteries in your home are PlaySpot window battery, 0%. So I have over 30 different sensors in my smart home and more than 50% of them require batteries. So whether you have one sensor or 100, here's how you can use GPT to keep track of its status and whether or not it needs its batteries changed. If you do want to come behind the curtain and experience some exclusive ideations and get first access to dope automations like these, consider joining. Check the link in the description or you can follow the arrow. Oh, 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 oh,